Hi guys, I got something awesome for you today. This is a blast from the past. It is the Multiplex Picojet. It's a flying wing introduced in 1999. Let's get it in the air and then we can talk details later. So, the plane flew kind of well, kind of fast, um, but I definitely have some big issues. It, it flies faster than the, uh, the intended because um, this motor is much, much powerful, more powerful than the original that the engineers decided to use it back in 1999. Uh, that was a Permax, 400, 6 volts, 40, 60 watts, something like that. This is pulling a lot more. I haven't measured it yet. I'm gonna do that. I think it's pulling close to one kilowatts. That said, um, if we open up this can of worms, clearly I'm, I've got issues with <laughs> the real estate down here. Um, so I got my flight controller. Let's just get that out of the way. Connects to the uh, GPS antenna and the only thing I'm really, really using that for is to get uh, the GPS uh, information, the welcome display, altitude and ground speed in my garbles. I really, I really like having that information. Um, then we have the uh, RX, just simple four uh, channel receiver. The battery, 4S, 1.4. And the EC. Now the EC, um, I really messed it up because it's supposed to go here so that the air that comes in here through these inlets are passing past the EC and out through the hull and out through the back here of the plane so it helps to cool it. That's not what I did, nope. I, some strange reason I decided to put it over here and actually I think I put it on top of the battery and it overheated clearly and actually melted some of the foam in the canopy. So that was not the smartest thing I've done. Um, also, I do think it's too small. I really do think I'm going to, I'm going to use a, a 60 amp, um, have that inbound. Anyways, the canopy. So I'm using the DJI HD uh, FPV system. The camera, the VTX, this is the Vista version. I got the cables running through, so I can attach that to my flight controller, which again attaches to my GPS. Then I have my uh, the antenna for the VTX and a Runcam 5 Orange, which is pointing backwards, because I figured it would be cool to have some, some backward uh, shots that I could mix in to make a cool flight video. Um, yeah, so that was the setup. That was my first flight. Hi guys, I'm back at the airfield. I've done all kinds of changes to the plane, but uh, like last time, let's fly first and talk later.
right, let's look at the setup for flight number two. First thing, ESC. I fixed it. I bought a new one, it's 60 amps, and I put it in the right spot where the airflow sim comes in and, uh, and cools it. It works, it does not overheat, it's nice, it's warm, sure. Uh, once it's run, that's okay, but it's not hot, so perfect. I'm really make, making sure to cut all the wires in the right length and so it, it stays here and it's um, cooled nice. Um, however, I was hoping that EEC was also the reason why I couldn't get full throttle and the motor uh, would accept full throttle, but it's not, it still cuts out. Um, so that sucks. Um, I have a couple of timing things I can program this, you know, couple things I can try timing wise, but I don't know if that's going to work. If not, if anyone can recognize the noise it makes when it cuts out, I have suggestions, please let me know. It would be cool if I can get this set up to run at full throttle. That would be nice. Yeah. Anyways, uh, moving on. Instead of the Runcam 5 Orange, I'm now using the Runcam Thumb Pro. It's way lighter. Really nice. Um, and I've, I'm powering it from the, the flight controller. So it's not perfect because I did experience some, some dropouts where I just stopped recording and then started recording on a different file. Like it was interrupted somehow. I've upgraded the firmware and I hope that solved the issue. Otherwise it can only be, I think it can only be a power issue. But um, that's something I need to, uh, to try a bit more. That was just my first three flights. Anyways, it's really light, really nice. So I hope I can fix it. The flight control is now on top, out, outside and not on the inside, because I want to make sure that the, the airflow over the EC is um, as nice as possible. Then I have the full-size air unit, which allows me to record on board the plane. Version one, you saw the transmitted goggle image. This one is high resolution and hasn't lost any uh, signal um, quality. Now, the camera, I placed it all the way in the nose of the plane and pointing it following the natural curve of the nose, so it's pointing slightly down. And for me to, uh, to make that possible, I've had to replace the cable between the camera and the air unit uh, with a, a longer one. And that was a bit finicky. I almost broke the camera when I did it. It's, so, um, but um, yeah, I managed. Now I know for next time, still need to address something here. Um, I need to figure out if I can flip the, um, the image so I can bring the, uh, the cable down here. This is not perfect. Anyways, um, last thing is that in attempt to, to make sure that the CG and the, uh, everything was right and I can put the battery I wanted to, I shortened down one of the, the battery uh, cables here. Um, just to try things out and see if that gave me something. It really didn't. I can still do that with, you know, a regular cable. So that was a bit stupid, but it was an experiment. So yeah, there you go. Anyways, that was the setup for flight number two.